Well, how y'all making? As you can see, I got the jugs in the boat, so you know what that means. If you was here about two videos ago, we about to head out and uh, do some more jug lining. I'm gonna go throw these jugs out, and if I got some time before the sun goes down, I'm gonna, uh, you know, go try and catch some of them bass, but if it's your first time here, my name is Vinny. Uh, this channel is all about hunting and fishing and uh, just about anything outdoors. So if, you, uh, if you're if you interested in that sort of thing, just consider, cons little, 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 you know, you might want to consider subscribing so you don't miss any of the future videos. But speaking of subscribers, just before I started this video, I just got an alert on my phone saying that I have reached my first 100 subscribers. So I just can't thank you guys enough for uh, you know, showing that support, hitting that subscribe button, and uh, watching these videos. Uh, again, I appreciate all your views, and uh, yeah, so. Enough flapping these old jaws, let's get down to what y'all came for. Well, we made it out here. I'm at the same lake that I was the last time I came jugging, but uh, that water's really low. I mean, it's shallow. I'm in three foot of water right here. I guess that ain't too terrible, but it's a little bit more shallow. It's muddy as I don't know what, and there's a whole lot of grass in some of the spots I wanted to put these jugs, but the main reason I wanted to come put these jugs right here today, as opposed to anywhere else, is because I plan on getting up bright and early and coming uh, try and shoot some nutria in the morning at this, uh, at this location right over here because that's the public land right behind me that we did some duck hunting on i'm gonna go and shoot some nutrient up until the end of march in there so i'm gonna try and jump up early in the morning before i pick these jugs up i'm gonna go out there and go do some nutrient hunting but that will probably be a separate video unless we hardly shoot any nutria and the catfish bite sucks then we just combine it all to give you something to look at so enough of that jaw and i'm gonna uh get these things thrown out so i can go try and cast the fishing line a couple times before it gets dark because it's uh that sun's getting kind of low so let's get it out All right, y'all, I am right outside the lake where I have my jugs. Uh, I actually just got finished nutrient hunting, which you will see on the next video. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you will get notified when I upload it. But anyway, I'm about to go head out there and start picking up them jugs, seeing if we got any of them big old fat cats on them things. But I wanted to do this right here because the, we got a pretty stiff wind blowing out on that lake. So just in case it was going to be too much noise for you to hear, I just went ahead and did it here. So. All right, let's go. Let's go see what we got.
boys. As you can see, I'm back at the house. Sorry I didn't get a whole lot of footage of those uh, catfish. We only got two guys right there. But that wind was treacherous. And the waves were even worse, man. I I tell you what, a couple times them waves hit the side of the boat. I thought it was coming over and I thought that was it. So all I wanted to do was just get all that stuff in the boat and get out of that lake. And get out of that wind so I just picked it up chunked everything in the boat and uh look at this mess on my hands hmm that's gonna take me a while yeah but it's safety first we survived it that's the biggest thing so uh well yeah now I gotta clean up them two smelly cats and uh what not so well we interrupt this program to bring you a special announcement apparently I either forgot to hit the record button or the footage got lost at some point somewhere but right around this point in the video there should be something saying that uh, I decided to make this video a catch and cook so I'm making this video a catch and cook and then I got the fish all put together cut up in little chunks slapped it in a bowl and covered it with this Zatarain's Creole mustard instead of regular mustard before we fried it up. So anyway, when this video picks up, that's what you missed. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. Now I'm gonna take the Zatarain's fish fry. I just realized everything I'm using today is made by Zatarain's. Full disclosure, Zatarain's is not sponsoring this video. But if you're listening, Zatarain's, since I'm only making this one batch, I'm just gonna do it all in the same bowl. So we're just gonna pour a little bit of this in there. And then to just add a little bit of spice in our life, we're gonna throw in some Zatarain's crab oil. Again, not sponsored, but Zatarain's, if you're watching. I'm gonna take a little pinch of that and just let me get a little bit more. Let's get a little bit more. A little pencil. A little dab will do you right there. Oh, yeah. That'll be delish now, boys. Mix that up. Then we're going to sprinkle it on there like so. Just start moving it around. Ooh, it's hard to hold this camera. Maybe I should have did this a different right way. There you go. You get the idea. Well, I guess the smart thing would have been to uh, light the stove while we were doing all that. So now, now I gotta wait for the oil to heat up. All right, I think our oil is hot enough. But to make sure, we're just gonna dip our toe in, huh? Oh, I think so. There we go. All right, now we just gotta let them fry up a little bit. Then we're gonna flip them, let them fry a little bowl, and then we eat them. All right, well, some of the batter came off of some of them. I don't know if that's because we used that mustard or I just don't know what the heck I'm doing, but it's probably the latter. But anyway, now's the moment of truth. I'm gonna try this bad boy out. Well, I'd say that's pretty good. That is pretty delicious. So good, in fact, I'm gonna have another piece. 
Well, I'm not going to give these dogs any of the fried fish, but I'll tell you what they like even better. Take the old nasty bloodline, any part with the skin that you don't want off the fish, and them puppies love it. Can you want some raw fish? Mmm, sushi. My boys like their sushi. But anyway, folks, that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads when I upload, just put your cursor over that little notification bell and click.